Tyler here. I have a great question today about the clean or the snatch, so the Olympic lifts. And that question is, what is it that I'm looking for when I'm coaching a clean or a snatch? Now these are complicated movements, so it's gonna be hard for me to give you the full spectrum of what it is I'm looking for, but I'm gonna give you the basics behind the clean and the snatch in order to make sure you get the best results possible when you're starting out your Olympic lifting training or you're trying to get better at Olympic lifting. So the first thing is the start position. With the start position, I'm always looking for people having a really solid deadlift or lift off the ground position. The reason why is when people deadlift, oftentimes they'll round their back forward, right? And they'll use that to get more weight up. With the Olympic lifts, you have to keep a neutral spine in order to get maximum power out of your hips, your calves, your thighs, and your upper body as well. So it's gonna be more of an upright position. So to start out, coming down, gripping the bar, dipping your hips lower. So hips are still above knees, but shoulder blades are pulled back and neck is nice and tall from the top of the head. So that's gonna be your start position. If somebody has a start position where their butt's real high or their shoulders are really far forward, that's not gonna be very good. And it's definitely not gonna be good if the bar is out front. The bar should be, if you look down, the bar should be cutting your toes off or even slightly closer. And as you come down to load that position to get ready to squeeze to the knees, boom, and then start your Okay? So that's the first thing I look for is the bottom position. From there, I'm looking for how the person goes about accelerating, okay? Because oftentimes people will go for a cleaner snatch and they'll go and they'll just yank the ball right off the ground like that. And what we know is that people get better results if they accelerate the bar as they move forward. So what I say to people is squeeze to the knees and then explode with everything you've got. So you load the position, you're squeezing to the knees. Once it passes the knees, that's when we blow up and we throw all of our power into the Olympic lift, okay? So first step, good bottom position. Second step is that pull speed, squeeze the knees, explode, right? From there, getting the bar to either your shoulders or an overhead position, what I'm looking for is the trajectory of the bar. Does it go in a straight line, up and down, or is the bar coming out in an arcing motion? If you do a clean or a snatch, and the bar comes out in front of you like that, you're not doing it right. You're using too much effort and you're not gonna get maximum weights up. What you want is you want the bar to stay close to your body and you want it to come up in one nice, perfect, straight line. That's for both the clean and the snatch as well. So, first step, proper bottom position. Second step, acceleration. Third step, bar trajectory. The final step is dropping under, okay? It takes a long time to master the skill of getting underneath a snatch. It also takes a long time to master the skill of getting underneath a clean. So we wanna make sure that as soon as everything is fully extended, we drop under, all right? It has to be fully extended in order for you to drop under. I don't wanna see anybody coming up and they're not fully extended and they're dropping under too soon. And you don't wanna see them do it too late where the bar is already on the way back down and they're trying to come down. It's a fast movement, okay? So, position. Squeeze to the knees. Explode, straight bar trajectory, drop under once you extended everything, okay? Up, drop under once you extended everything, okay? So, using those four tips, you can take a look at the clean, or you can take a look at the snatch as well, and you can do the power versions, like I'm showing you where I don't go into a full squat on the drop, or you can do the full squat versions where you land in a bottom squat position, all right? But watch those few things. Bottom position, acceleration, bar speed, and that timing of full extension, drop under, and you will get much better at the Olympic lifts if you focus on those things. You guys dig this video? Like it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think the top coaching tips are for Olympic lifting. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to the Garage Warrior channel so you get more awesome videos just like this where I teach you how to look, feel, and perform your best, all right? Thanks for watching.